Okay, so before we um, we continue making the rest of this class, let's just make sure that what we have works. And if you notice, if we initialize this class and you know make it into an object, so we'll call this constructor, and we'll also use uh, my SQL helper class as well. So we'll also you know test this out a little bit. Um, so let's go ahead and well, let's see my oops uh the, what was it marker data marker data source okay, let's go ahead and make this variable let's call uh, my data so marker data source oops marker data source uh constructor and it already put the um oops the construct uh, the uh, argument in there for us. Um, and then our next thing to do is call data dot open. And then we'll just call data dot close. Oops. And make sure it opens and closes correctly. Okay. So it looks like everything opened up. Let me make sure that uh, that in the log window we didn't have any errors. So let's see. The way we can check is to actually throw an SQL exception whenever we uh, call open. So let's go back to the marker data source call open and say throw SQL exception and then we'll rerun this oops and you know what we're gonna get an error because I forgot in main activity we'll have to have a try catch we'll just cancel this run Try catch. And then we'll we'll uh, we'll uh, have a log dot i information and just type hello and oops. Hello and then we'll copy that paste that down here just so we can track it oops sorry put that down there in case the exception is called we'll see hello if not then we will we won't be able to search for it Okay, looks like uh, it opened up correctly because if there was an exception thrown, uh, this would have been logged as hello, but as you can see, hello is not found. See? All right, so so far we can open the database. That means that the data source and the MySQL hel helper class are both working correctly. All right, I'll see you guys later.